Temple woman is raising questions after she tested her tap water and found pesticides. Yeah, she posted her results on Facebook and many are now concerned. Six News reporter Sydney Deshawn helps break down what's true. Sydney, what'd you find out? Yeah, Chris and Lindsay, Abby Labetti lives in Temple and hopes to start a family one day. That's why she bought a water test kit. She found pesticides in her tap water and now she's worried about the effects on pregnancy. The city of Temple says specific pesticides and other toxins are sampled on a quarterly basis. The city says trace amounts of pesticides could be detected in Labetti's home testing kit, but Temple's test results are well below acceptable levels set by the TCEQ. The city says its water complies with state and federal drinking water standards. The TCEQ says no water supply is completely free of contaminants. Preventing or removing them may not be feasible, nor it is, is it not necessary to protect your health. The city tells me the storms have not impacted their treatment processes, but the TCEQ says the most common concern after flooding or power outage events is back bacteriological contamination. Systems may need to issue boil water notices as either a precaution to protect their consumers. Whether these contaminants pose a health risk depends on how toxic the pesticides are, how much is in the water, and how much exposure occurs daily. And the TCEQ says anyone can look up and review the report of their water system. They urge consumers to read any letters or notices from their water provider. Guys, all great information. Sydney, thank you. Okay.